From September to March, I had been relapsing constantly. I had been watching entertainment, resetting my nofap streak, even though like I know streaks aren't that important, being consistent is more important. Still, the point is I was being inconsistent, unproductive, and I did that for seven months. So you can imagine I felt like shit. I felt tired all the time. I just felt negative about myself. I didn't like myself. But why did this happen? Why did I go down this spiral of indulgence and whatnot? I'll tell you why. It happened because I had believed that when I failed, that if, that if I failed at all, that I was a hypocrite, that I was not worthy of being a stoic, that I couldn't make videos like this, that if I went back to all the good habits, to the philosophy, that I'd be a liar. But ironically enough, it was that belief that prevented me from doing anything. Like the more I would tell myself that I was a hypocrite, the more I would believe I was a hypocrite and I would say, oh yeah, I can't go back to stoicism. But the more I'd spend, the more time I'd spend away from stoicism uh, and my philosophy, the bigger of a hypocrite I'd feel like. So you can see it was this like vicious cycle of negative thoughts and then the negative thoughts affirming my actions and the negative thoughts affirming my beliefs. The negative thought, and you know, it just kept going in that circle. I want to teach you how to control your beliefs, how to avoid this. Because I'm telling you, seven months, I mean, seven months is half a year more than half a year it's a huge amount of time that you could be using to develop yourself that you could be using to make progress to do things the right way that choice is up to you what you do with your time is for the most part up to you i know that we have constraints in life i know that not everything is in our control but it would be a mistake to say that you cannot control yourself that you cannot decide what you do with yourself. Why is belief so important? Why do I speak about belief as like the main thing that determined whether or not I succeeded or not? Well, belief determines action. So whatever you believe about yourself, if you believe that you will be fat or sad for the rest of your life, that will affirm itself in your daily life, in your lifestyle, in your habits, and these beliefs are extremely hard to like, to, to detach from, to let go of. Since by the time that you try to let go of them, you've already integrated it into your mind so deeply, you've, you've affirmed it so much that it's essentially a part of you. Whenever you repeat something, whenever you do something over time, and you like every single day, you affirm that into your mind into your subconscious and you make it a habit. When I, I have this English teacher in my school who I speak to pretty frequently and he tells me that he will be depressed for the rest of his life, that he can only mitigate his depression with therapy, but that even then he will always feel like a two out of 10 sadness, like a numbness in his life for the rest of his life. And I tell him, no, 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 that's not true. You don't need to stay depressed for the rest of your life. That makes no sense. If that was true, people would not be able to overcome depression. We wouldn't be able to, we'd be a slave to our genetics. And that's not true. Things are affirmed by lifestyle. And his response is that, no, 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 I, that's, that's not true. No, some things are genetic. Some things just are. And that's, you know, that's how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. Do you think that this man's lifestyle is a healthy one? Do you think that he's getting a lot of sun? Do you think that he's eating a, a clean, strict diet, going to the gym, avoiding fast entertainment? Probably not, right? This guy plays video games. This guy has an unfulfilling, low paying job. Of course, you know, there's, there may be a genetic predisposition to depression, but if you have a lifestyle that is full of fast entertainment, fast dopamine, where it, there's a sense of purposelessness, 
of course you're going to be depressed. Of course you're going to feel a mild numbness for your whole life. Your lifestyle is affirming that belief. And that belief that you cannot change is going to continue to affirm the lifestyle. So it's this interrelated like back and forth relationship between uh, what you believe and how you live. What you do. If you cannot control your beliefs using logic, then you'll be a slave to your emotion. You'll feel negative thoughts and then you'll continuously affirm them since those like negative those negative emotions are often stronger than logic if we don't cultivate logic if we don't intentionally practice making our having our own beliefs creating our own beliefs if we don't practice assessing what we think of ourselves objectively then we just kind of listen to what our emotions tell us about ourselves in any given moment which is why some people have sky high confidence one day and the next day they're like that they're down here depressed they hate themselves it's why we always we always speak or not always but why the majority of people speak so negatively about themselves about and they have such a little confidence in their ability to influence their own lives over time they've had negative experiences unfulfilling experiences it's become a habitual for most of us to be insecure, to believe we can do it, to be pushed down by society, a society that's much greater and much more powerful than us. Completely understandable. And it's no, it's nobody's, it is somebody's fault, but it's not our fault. It's not the people's fault for being depressed, for being fat, for having all these conditions that are unhealthy and for thus developing these negative beliefs about the self. But it is our responsibility to change who we are, what we do, what we become. So how do we direct our beliefs intentionally? Now, I feel like I'm saying this in every video, but there's two main things that you need to do. And they kind of, they work in tandem. Journal frequently every single day and read Stoicism. In fact, you can journal about Stoicism. The purpose of journaling is to integrate new beliefs into your mind. It's to assess what you believe, what your natural reactions are, and how and cultivating new beliefs with intention and logic. Because like we said earlier, when you have beliefs that repeat themselves, like thoughts that just repeat themselves throughout the day, or you have actions that you repeat every single day, what happens is you end up integrating these beliefs into your subconscious you end up making them a routine so like i like i said earlier with my english teacher if you have the belief that you will be sad forever that you'll be depressed forever then you will integrate that and affirm it into your subconscious and you will genuine and you will genuinely believe that sadness is a part of you that depression is a part of you that this is something unchanging and permanent Likewise, if you have the belief that you are a disciplined masculine man, that you are a philosopher, that you can develop, that you can overcome failure, that you are consistent, that failure does not mark the end of your journey, but it's another stepping stone. I know that's cliche, but roll with it. If you have these beliefs and you affirm them every single day, they will become a part of you and it will become habitual to refer to these things. So that's why I also ask you to read Stoicism. In my own experience, journaling Stoicism is what has helped me the most. It was understanding what my circle of control is, understanding where desire comes from, understanding what to focus on and what not to focus on, what is right and what is wrong. It was journaling about these things and reading about them every single day that affirmed the philosophy that integrated it into my mind. So now, from the moment I wake up to the moment I'm sleeping, even as I record this video, I am thinking about stoicism. I'm referring back to lessons I've learned, to habits I've developed, referring to, to places where I need to grow. I have that clarity because every single day I journal about what I should be doing, what I should not be doing, what I need to focus on, what's in my control, how I can, what I can do today 
to become the desired self I have in my mind. Journal and read Stoicism. And through doing so, you will integrate these beliefs into your mind. And it is only there, it is only when you start believing that you can change, that you will be able to take action and be consistent with it. It's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. I know that I haven't been posting on my Medium page. I know that, like, I've, I've been very flimsy with my schedule. I said this in my last video. From here on out, I will be posting three videos every week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I will be posting, and I will be posting one article every week either on Saturday or on Sunday, whenever I feel like doing so. But with that, I can, I can conclude this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.